and pruned, yeah. um, uh, kind of so that the first, so that the the branches were raised up, um, you know, for traffic and everything yeah. going underneath. Yep. And then also, um, there are some other trees around the park over there that got either pruned or removed yeah. as well. Um, so it's really building up the health of the canopy yeah, here. You know so. what I was So, uh, it's Lewis Tree um, and National Tree. How are you? Do you guys want to go stand in the background? I won't call you out by name and make it safe. If anyone's camera shy, you don't have to. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. This is really a wonderful turnout today. I'm very excited. Uh, it's been a really exciting day today, actually. So uh, I've had questions. We planted nine trees today, and I've had questions. Why didn't we do that on Earth Day? <laughs> well, today is actually Arbor Day. Yeah, a lot of people are becoming very familiar with Arbor Day now because we've been doing this celebration. It's an annual event here in Fall River, um, and we've done some, some really great projects every year because of Arbor Day. This year we're here in Maplewood Park and we planted nine trees this year uh, in, in, uh, to celebrate Arbor Day, which we had our first Arbor Day celebration started in, back in 1872 in Nebraska. That was the origination of this event. And they planted one million trees on that day in the state of Nebraska. It was a very, it was a very big operation. And so, in honor of that, because they recognized the importance of trees, we now celebrate that by planting a tree every year on Arbor Day. So, uh, and that's an, an all over the nation. So Fall River is part of a very big event today. Um, so we have planted three different types of trees here at the park. And we have Morton Elm, which is actually named after Jay Sterling Morton, who is the founder of Arbor Day. And uh, we also have um, some honey locust and some zelkovas here, all lining the street. So this is really an investment into the future. As these trees get bigger, they become more a part of the neighborhood and define the park, giving shade and making it welcoming for the neighbors to come and spend time here. Um, and it's been a real honor getting to see the, some of the neighbors come out today and watch some of the operations that have been going on because not only did we plant some trees, but we had some really incredible work done today that was donated by National Grid and Lewis Tree. They, they were here uh, taking care of some of the older trees that we have. Um, you know, once we plant the trees, it's very important that we care for the resource by pruning it and just um, keeping them healthy over the years. And National Grid and Lewis Tree and Davey all recognize the importance of taking care of these trees. So today we had, as you can see, a, a very large crew of people working on uh, removing some old trees that unfortunately had uh, lived out their life, um, which is why we have some new trees coming in um, to fill in that canopy now. Um, but they also helped prune uh, a lot of the trees and keep them healthy raise the branches up so that we can play under them. And um, it, the, the operation was really incredible to see. We had bucket trucks here, people up in the canopy with all kinds of their chainsaws and everything running. Uh, and um, this was uh, a full day's worth of work. And I don't know if anybody's ever removed a tree on their own property, but we had about 15 to $20,000 of, of uh, donation uh, labor and equipment today to help all of this happen so just look up and just stand there and watch because it's just an incredible thing to see and and some of them who are actually here right now uh, came over and said thank you um, for, for all this help that you are providing to us um, I've heard some stories I know people were talking about the trees and how how much they mean to them they, they grew up here they've lived here 60 years and back when they're 10 years old. They carved their initials into the into the beech tree that we have over there. So these really are a part of our neighborhood. 
Um, and so the new plantings are just an investment into the future. Maybe someday someone 50 years from now will be able to talk about what they, how they interacted with the trees way back at the beginning. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so thank you very much. We're going to actually, um, every year, uh, we as Fall River ha is a Tree City USA city, and um, so we like to do a, a little bit of celebration with that, and so I would like to introduce Mayor Flanagan here, who's going to say a few words for us um, and give a proclamation for the trees. Thank you so much. It's really an honor. For all that they do here, uh, working in conjunction with all of the citizens uh, who go out each and every day and make an investment within our community. And as Emily stated, between Lewis Tree Services and National Grid, we had over $20,000 worth of services donated to the city of Fall River. So to everybody here today, I say thank you for that. And also a big thank you uh, to the Department of Community Maintenance, uh, with the Departments of Cemeteries and Parks and Playgrounds, for coming out here and doing your part too. And that's what makes us so great. It's the city partnering with the citizens, partnering with the private sector that's able to do really great things here in our community. And to be here this Arbor Day in Maplewood Park, it's an honor for me to make this Arbor Day proclamation. I want to take a moment to read it to everybody. Whereas the forefathers of our city had the foresight to plant numerous trees throughout our city so that Fall River now enjoys thousands of trees along our streets and many more in our parks, playgrounds, and on private property. Trees are a valuable natural resource of our city, providing oxygen to the air we breathe, absorbing carbon dioxide, providing shed, shade during the heat of summer, offering a home to birds and small animals, and giving our city an aesthetic uplift by covering our city in a canopy of color during the autumn months. Whereas the many positive benefits of trees results in the increase of property values to all of our residential and commercial properties, making Fall River a healthier and better place to live. Whereas it is important for our children to recognize the multitude of advantages provided by our trees so that they may carry on our commitment to planting and maintaining trees. The city of Fall River, in an effort to incorporate our children in the stewardship of our urban forests, will also be celebrating Arbor Day throughout all of our elementary schools. Now therefore, I, William A. Flanagan, Mayor of the city of Fall River, do hereby proclaim Friday, April 25, 2014 as Arbor Day in the city of Fall River and urge all of our citizens to protect and to preserve our city's trees today and every day into the future. And since we're here at Maplewood Park, I'm going to ask the president of the Maplewood Neighborhood Association, Earl Gordet, to come and receive this proclamation and to also say a few words. Earl. Thank you. I was born and brought up, as was my parents were born and brought up in Maplewood. One of the trees over here, I'd say probably 75 or 80 years ago when I was just a toddler, I used to play here. So the, for generations, five generations, the Gordat family has enjoyed what's going on. I have three of my granddaughters here today, and I, I don't know where the other two went, but there's Laura. <laughs> and it, it's, once again, it's another generation, it's a great park, and I'm so happy that the mayor and the people who are interested enough to come here and do this have completed this. Once again, thank you, Your Honor. Earl is joined by Max, Max today, <laughs> and Earl said Max will also be joining all these trees too here <laughs> in the city. <laughs> and I want to thank all the neighborhoods for coming out. You know, I see Sandy Dennis uh, from the Park Advocates, Helen Rigo from the Niagara, all the citizens here in the community for coming out and doing their part. Also, Perry Long from the Community Development Agency. As you can tell, it's a community-wide effort. Uh, no one single person can do all of this alone. It takes everybody, our all hands on deck effort to do the great things that we're doing here in the city. So it's an honor for me as mayor to proclaim today is Arbor Day, enjoying mayors and citizens throughout our great nation. Thank you. Thank you. I always like to do one last closing uh, experience here for everybody and invite 
anybody who wants to to come and help participate in uh, the planting process. We had a lot of volunteers here helping out today and some of that was coordinated by UMass. They're always here helping with their expertise, offering their expertise and just a helping hand. So they did a great job with that. And now I'd like to invite anybody who wants to uh, to grab a shovel and we can finish mulching the trees. Thank you. <laughs> All right, come on. Ready? Right. One, two, three, go. Yeah, I